Hello coin roll hunters and coin collecting enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of My Executive Ranch. I'm so excited about today's episode because today we're going to look at this roll of U.S. wartime steel pennies that I found in my dad's safe. I guess technically it's not a roll, it's whatever this little container is called. I'm really excited about these because I looked at the top one to see what it was because I wanted to send one to NS Numismatics to thank him to the, for the shout out. Thank you again, NS Numismatics. Um, and the one, it was a 1943 and so was the one under it, but I haven't looked at any of the other pennies in this container. So if there's a 1944 in there, that'll be really exciting. I'm gonna guess that they're all 1943s, but you never know. So that's pretty cool. Now before we get going any further, I would like to just remind everybody about my um, giveaway. If you will send your address to me at myexecutiveranch at gmail.com, I will send you a subscription gift, which is this really cool 1945 Canada wartime nickel. They're really cool. They're not super valuable, but uh, they're also not something that you come across every day and they have a really interesting history. So please send me your physical address and I will send you one of these really cool nickels. Also, just a quick uh, note, I will not hang on to your address or put you on a mailing list or anything inappropriate like that. It's just, it's just what it is. It's just a giveaway. And now without further ado, I'm going to put on my coin gloves just in case we do have a 1944 treasure in here and we're going to get right into it. So I'm gonna move this little thing right here. First penny, dun dun dun. Boy, these gloves are not easy to use. Uh, first penny is a 1943. Can you see a mint mark there? 1943 D. Well, that'll go over here in our D pile, which I just made. Hmm. Yeah, okay. And another 1943. Well, that one doesn't seem to have a mint mark. I'm gonna pull it out here and take a quick look. There, 1943, no mint mark. I assume that that is Philadelphia. Let's see. My family lived in Western Canada, so I would think we'd have some San Francisco mint marks, but maybe not. 1943. Can't quite get the light right here. Okay, this is about as exciting as watching paint dry. But, okay, no mint mark. Nineteen forty-three D. Isn't that cool, actually, looking at old Abe Lincoln on these really cool wee pennies? Anyway, so there's a D. both 1943s. You know, because of the time that this is taking, I think we're just going to establish whether the pennies are 1943 or not, and then that looks like a three to me. Yep. We're not going to worry about what mint they were from. I'll do that later. Ah, uh, 1943. This one's all marked up. The steel pennies did tend to rust a bit. Huh. I can't really see that one. 
Oh, well, that looks like a three as well. Let me look with my glasses here. Yep, that's a 1943. That's a cool looking one. Forty three. Trivia question Were any of these pennies? Oh, there's an S. Okay, 1943 S. I was just about to ask whether they were making pennies in the San Francisco mint in 1943, but it seems they were because we just found one. 1943. 1943, that's also an S. 1943, well, it's a 1943 anyway. Hmm. That looks like a three to me, what about you? Forty-three. Okay, that's a good spot. Forty-three. Like I say, I'm fully expecting all of these to be 1943 pennies. But you never know, you guys. Forty-three. Forty-three. And the four is almost, the four is almost missing. Huh. We're going to put that one aside. Um, now, I don't know, but this brings up an interesting question. Are there any uh, known mint errors that increase the value of these 1943 pennies? Boy, this one you can barely even read. I'm going to take a look at this one. I think this one's a 43, yeah. Yeah, okay. Forty-three. So yeah, uh, make a comment about whether there are any errors or varieties in these pennies, and I will look for some if there are, but I don't know if there are or not. Um, well, that one is not cooperating. Oh. Looks like a 43 to me, but I'm going to put it aside just to make sure. Uh, this one's very obviously a 1943. Here is a, oops, that's a three on the end there. Isn't this one pretty? Look at how the uh, oxidation has worn away and really made that one scent stand out nicely. That's pretty. Um, Abe is upside down, 1943D. 1940. Hmm. I can't actually read that one. Looks like a 43 to me, but the date seems kind of obscure. So we'll put that in our little pile of things to look at later as well. Um, 43, really obvious. Um, It takes a long time to go through these pennies. If you felt like skipping through to the end, 
of this video to find out what I found, I personally would not fault you. Forty-three. Forty-three. Yeah, you guys, it's looking like all these are going to be forty-threes. But you never know, there could be a forty-four right down at the bottom that my dad tucked away there for safekeeping. Forty-three. Forty-three. But I'm still pretty interested in the question about the, uh, the errors and varieties because I would love to look through these pennies for some of those. So if you know of anything like that, please say so in the comments. And again, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and get your free gift. And also remember that Forty-three. That's a funny looking three though. We're gonna put that in our group. Also remember that, um, what was I saying? You can get your free prize, 43S. And also when I get to 100 subscribers, I will be giving away a silver, 80% silver Canada uh, 50 cent piece. Well friends, that uh, ends our look at the Pennies. Oh, we've got that one with the sort of missing four. And then I have three here that for whatever reason I couldn't quite read the numbers. And I will take a very close look at those. Oh, this one's a 43, pretty obviously. Yeah. Oh, but that's the one with the long three. Anyway, I'll look at these and see if they have anything unusual about them. Remember, let me know about the errors and, uh, and varieties. And thank you very much for watching my executive ranch. Remember to send me your address. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.